So Dr. White just came in and evaluated Miss McKinney for sealants. And I am going to do number 30. So first I'm gonna pumice the tooth. And then if you're doing multiple sealants on a person, you can pumice all of the teeth at the same time because they're not gonna be doing anything to get anything in their teeth. Rinse it off thoroughly. Okay, and now you wanna place your isolation. We're gonna use a dry angle to cover the parotid gland and the silver side, if it has a silver side, some of them don't have silver sides, they're white and white, but if there is a silver side, it goes towards the inside of the mouth, the white goes towards the cheek. So I'm gonna see how I bent this a little bit. If you don't bend it, it can be, can be kind of pokey. So I'm gonna stick this right back here to control that saliva. And I'm gonna stick a cotton roll on the outside of number 30. I'm just gonna push it in there. Don't be afraid to just push it in there. You're not gonna hurt them by pushing a cotton roll into their gingiva or um, buckle meat toaster. Turn this way from And now I'm gonna suction her out just a bit and place the cotton roll by her tongue. Lift her tongue up for me. Oh, look, she knows what to do already. <laughs> so I've been doing these a long time and I know how how I like things done. If you have an assistant, tell them how you want things done. Um, but this is just my, the way I do it. So I'm gonna spray this off with air, get it real dry. And then I'm gonna apply some essence. Oh, this is so hard. And feel free to be generous with your essence. Generous with your etchant and conservative with your sealant. Can you use the cotton in the real package? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I always do. You cannot trust a person's tongue or their saliva to not get on the tooth. It just, you just can't trust them. All right, so it's been on there 20 seconds. You see how I'm going to spray the water across the tooth into the suction? Mm -hmm. I use, um, Down there, buddy. I use the um, low speed because I just don't feel comfortable with the high speed in the mouth. And you see, did you see how I come out here and blew the air off so I got all the air out of the line? And then I'm gonna dry this off until it looks chalky, which I feel like that's good there. And we're gonna apply some sealant. I grabbed the Quintro so that you would have a visual. So like, um, we are saying a while ago, I put a little bit into the occlusal surface there, and then I'm just going to spread it out. And then I'm going to try to go down the buckle groove. Hers is not very prominent, so I'm really not going to be able to get anything in there. But if the buckle groove is prominent, you do need to get down in that. I kind of feel like I got a little too much in the middle of the occlusal. So I'm going to just, if you're using a micro brush, be really, really light with it because these suck things, suck the sealant up real, real quickly. Okay, so I feel like that's good. It's just in the tips and fissures. And I'm going to cure, I like to cure, um, I don't have a shield, don't look so light. I like to cure molars for a minute. That's just my personal preference, um, regardless of what tooth you're doing, it has to be at least 30 seconds.
and you can change the time on most hearing lights. Apparently this one is set at 10 seconds. Okay. I'm going to check that because this is a fairly thin sealant anyway. Oh, that's still a little tacky. Doing all right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna feel that again feels better this time, goes harder. So I checked it, check the edges, make sure it's good. I want to take a few tip and wipe off the air inhibited layer. And then I'm gonna take the isolation out. So usually the tongue, the one under the tongue will come out real easily, depending on how much saliva your patient has, the one on the, the, the dry angle may come out easily or not. Hers is pretty soaked. Sorry about that. Here's so saying I got put water on the yeah. inside of it so it'll come out easier. Yeah, put water on it, soak down your isolation so that um, it doesn't leave like that stringy 